Sam, were you watching Monday night uh, when things happened, or what was your reaction when you did see or did hear about that? Yeah, I, I wasn't watching. Um, I was asleep. My mom texted me and kind of um, asked if I saw everything, and then obviously followed up the next morning. And um, you know, it's prayed a lot for him. Um, it's a hard thing, and you know, football is is a is a physical game, and I know that um, it, a lot of scary things can happen. And so we've all been praying for him. Um, we, we prayed as a team this morning for him and his family. Um, and the whole, you know, Buffalo organization. You never want to see something like that happen. You, you've had experiences in your life that have been tragic experiences. How do you mentally flip the switch to kind of prepare for a football game after going through an experience like so many people in this locker room have? It's hard. It's really hard. Um, you kind of have to, you know, put this game in perspective when. Um, you know, life and death is on the line. You know, this, this game gets so consumed with all our energy and all our time. Um, but when you have something that's really, you know, life altering like that, it puts things in perspective. Sam, you guys are similar ages. Did you ever cross paths? I didn't, no. Another start for you, big opportunity for you. What do you hope to accomplish this week as you guys get with this week? Yeah, I think offensively, um, you know, finding some rhythm. Um, finding, finding an identity, moving the ball up and down the field, and obviously scoring points. Um, you know, doing what we can to put our team in the best position to win. How important is it to get a win to go away into the offseason here? Yeah, we talked about it this morning. I mean, um, you know, I have experience with it in college. You know, you win your bowl game, you feel a lot better in the offseason. It builds a little bit momentum going into the offseason. And so, um, you know, being able to cap off the year with a win, you know, kind of adds a little positive psychology to it. Does it help you getting a chance? I mean, I know you would end in the, you know, late in the first half, but to get another game, to get some rhythm for you personally, getting the start here on Sunday? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, as a young player, reps are invaluable. And so the, the more reps that you can get, um, the more comfortable you're going to get. And so I think being able to get a chance to get out there last week um, will prepare me well for this week. Hey, what have you seen from Reggie Wayne at coaching the wide receivers and what he's meant to this locker room? Yeah, obviously had extreme success at this level, um, and the guys really respect him, and they, they um, really appreciate his expertise um, in route running, things of that nature, and then he's just a good friend to them as well. Um, you know, he's been in our situation. He's been in those guys' shoes as a receiver, so he's done a great job. How have you been able to manage personally with all the ups and downs of season, you personally as far as starting, not starting? Take us through that. Yeah, I mean, it's not easy. It's been a, it's been a roller coaster for sure. Um, you know, going into this year, this was certainly not the expectation, but um, it's what I told you guys a few weeks ago, always preparing like the starter, and regardless of the situation, you know, started the year as three, went to the two, then the one, then the two, then the three, then the two, now the one again. So um, that's quite a roller coaster, literally. Uh, but, you know, trying to stay, stay consistent through my routine and all of that, um, and, you know, trying to, you know, learn from every, every opportunity. It's amazing that you remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Pittman, a few catches away from a big milestone for him. Is that something that you're, as a quarterback, aware of and you know, really you know, make it a focus to try and get certain guys to certain benchmarks like that? Yeah, obviously, you know, always want to get Pitt the ball. Um, he's a great, great receiver, and um, you know, to get that statistic is a big deal. So um, I'll definitely be looking for him. James this year altered or changed your development? I know you talked in the preseason about. You know, this was going to be a two-year process for you. You probably weren't expecting to start. How, how does that change it or accelerate it? Uh, well, I think, I think it accelerates the, um, you know, the mental aspect of being able to anticipate and understand what the what the speed of the game looks like. Um, you know, it's it doesn't expedite anything physically. Um, that I'll continue to work on in the off season, but um, you know reps are invaluable, and so I'll be able to draw on on these reps um, moving forward with that experience to have a taste of what real ball looks like versus just preseason. You could play 20 years and never have a season like this. You just outlined it, right? I mean, I never seen anything like it. Um, forget about the football. Just have you grown as a like in here as a, as a man? Or what, what's it been like? Absolutely. Um, you know, while it's been a roller coaster on the depth chart, it's been an emotional roller coaster as well. Um, you know, with expectations, um, and then when reality doesn't meet expectations, you have an opportunity to learn from it. And so I think for me as a man and as a player, um, you know, really being able to separate my identity from the status of what's happening on Sunday, whether that be starting, whether that be backing up, whether that be inactive, um, you know, trying to find my identity as a man, um, not in this game. Is that, is that something that you're probably in the right room? Absolutely. I mean, polls especially yeah. 
always yeah. talks about that. Yeah, no doubt. No, Nick's been great, and Matt's been great as well. Um, you know, being able to have two guys like that who have, you know, been through a lot. Nick's been through a lot in his career from starting to, um, you know, backing up. All of, I mean, he's been all over the board. So um, to be able to draw on his experiences through this process has been very helpful.